G.O.D. couldn't get you to fucking Lafayette this week, could, could he, for, oh, uh, for an man. appearance? I swear. I swear to God. If I don't have fucking some of the worst travel luck. <laughs> so go to Pensacola. Everything's fine. So I'm supposed to go to Lafayette, Louisiana. The, I, I meet the people from Lafayette at Pensacola. Sweetheart people. And, I mean, Dallas... Page and I, we had a nitro there, and, and Dallas and I took off. We got there early, and we took off, and we found like a, a place like down by like some bayou that was that sold uh, crayfish and fucking uh, buckets of beer, and we got fucking wasted, and came back to nitro, and that's my you know, my memory when I hear of Lafayette is is me and, and, and Page getting fucked up. And, and still working and having a good time. I think we worked in, against each other in a tag. Um, I think that's why we did it. But so it's bike week, so I know I'm going to have to swim fucking upstream against the salmon. So it's there's a half a million bikers. It's it's Friday. It's no, it's actually Thursday. Is it Thursday? Or Friday? It's Thursday. Mm-hmm. So. Um. I have a 6.36 flight, so I get there an hour. I mean, it takes me a, a, a good, about 45 minutes to do like a 20-minute drive. And I get there, check my bags, get on the plane. It's 7 o'clock, and I'm like, ah, oh, fuck. And the conference tournament games are on for basketball for N- NCAA, mm-hmm. so I'm, watch, I'm watching those. And... Um, I get lo- I get lo- all of a sudden the the, it, it, uh, the TV cuts off because not once you actually like get ready to leave that shit doesn't work. So we sit there again, sit there again. Now I'm looking and we're supposed to land at eight twenty six. I have a nine oh five connection mm, connection out of uh, out of out of Atlanta. Atlanta. Yeah, and so I go ahead and and I get on my app and I look and it says you know. Uh, plane is delayed. These are your options. And I look, and the, the, the only option that has first class the next day is at 6 a.m., which makes me basically have to get up at like 3.30, which means I ain't going to bed. Right, of course. So, and by the time I got my bags and got home, it was fuck. <clears throat> It's like ten o'clock. I mean, it, it, and I was, you know, you're angry. It's just like, and what was the what was the quote weather? So it was weather. They, they it's it's like for for people that travel, it's such an annoyance when fucking somebody just sits there and lies. <laughs> you know, it's just it's so she yeah you know, she she starts off. She goes well due to weather. I immediately go to radars. I look at what's going on where we are. I look at where Atlanta is. There's nothing that would prevent us because you know you, you can so it shows the front coming in. There's green. There's no yellow, red, orange, nothing. There's nothing weather-wise that would prevent this fucking plane from leaving. You so. have you have access to the radars while you're sitting in the plane. You watching you navigate the computers like watching early man with a rock. But you've got radars oh. up on your phone, dude. I'm fucking hey. When it comes to traveling and, and catching you in a lie, fuck yeah, <laughs> fuck yeah, fuck yeah. I got I got everything. I, I'm fucking I'm, I'm wired into the pilot's fucking mic, so. Then we we finally we we pull back and they shut the plane up and they sit down they put their their uh, you know seatbelts on they the the flight attendants sit down and we back up and we sit there for fucking twenty minutes now it's really looking bad mm. I'm thinking like whoo fuck I said I've done this flight best time fifty four minutes. And that's fucking late at night. That's like leaving Atlanta at eleven and coming home. There's you know there's nothing. And uh, people that, that 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 fly a lot, like there's a um, a thing I think it's called the Craig's Gate, and it's at the 
it's a border of Florida, and all planes have to go through this Craig's Gate because Jacksonville has that uh, Naval Air Station, and they have airspace there. So you can't when you fly through the Florida. It's like the, there's like an area, and you'll see fucking in, in the daytime. You'll see all these flights staggered. Then you'll see them fucking when they get through that that Craig's Gate. They'll fucking if they're going to Miami, they'll go left. If they're going to Tampa, Orlando, they'll go right. But they've all got to go through this this spot. So that's what happens is that thing uh, gets clogged up, you know, with just fucking because just inadequacies of a fucking, uh, and I'm sure it's the acting FAA uh, supervisor's fucking job. But who's Craig, first of all? And why just, does he it's, get it's, a gate? I don't know, man. I, I, I'm thinking it was Craig Elo that fucking Jordan hit that shot on. They're just mm-hmm. giving him, just giving him some fucking love. Uh, but so then people now it's to the point where people are getting up and getting in their briefcases because they're like, well, fuck this. I'm going to get my phone. Or I'm going to do something else. And um, she goes, um, could you please sit down? We we're, we're in the process of getting getting the paperwork. I'm like. Bitch, we're a hundred yards from the fucking gate. Who are you giving paperwork to? The motherfucker next to you? Ain't nobody fucking giving paperwork to nobody. Like fuck you. That's your that's your second fucking lie. Like, are you moving? No, oh, we're sitting fucking still. And you can't stand what the, not the, the guy in one fucking C bulkhead never sit there. Bulkhead is got to piss. He gets up, matter of fact, he, this is exactly how he looks at her. Like, like this isn't a problem, right? I can get up and piss. She's like, no, you need to sit down. For the paperwork. So they can do the paperwork. I guess. Because Were they doing it know. in the bathroom? No, uh, no, I guess it was just hold your piss, you gladiator. Wow. You know, I, I, I just was. And then the fucking pilot comes out and he says, well, I've got an a, a engine light on here, so this is a mechanical and uh, we've contacted blah, 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 blah. Then he comes out, opens the door, and walks out. I'm sitting in 2B, or not to be. And he, he, he stands there, and I looked at him, and before he could fucking open his dick sucker, I said, uh, sir, I said, at this point, I'm considering myself a hostage on Delta Airlines. And he looks at me, I said, no, I'm serious. I said, if we have to go to Atlanta at this point, I'm going to have to stay at the Holiday Inn Limited in the hood. And it's like, that ain't happening. So either, like, I don't give a fuck if it's a, if it's a ladder. Just let me get off this motherfucker. I, I, I've already checked the, my flights. I'm not reboarding tomorrow. This is a fucking, this is a punt. And so he looks at me and goes, so we're, next thing you know, they've got another engine light. They pull the fucking plane back up and fucking, uh, they deboard the entire plane. Everybody's asked to get off the plane. But they tell you because TSA has already left because we're at a, a six gate airport that only runs two planes. TSA has already left that if you leave the controlled area, you will not be able to return. So now you've got 135 people mm. standing around this one fucking red coat. And it's, it's amazing. It's, there's the guy that's next in line. That's the best feeling on earth. If you're, if you're not the first guy in line... Being next is the best is the best thing because there's that little bit of anticipation, but you know, you know what? I'm next. This is the guy that's 135th is standing at the back of a line like he's at fucking Walt Disney World. There's 250 fucking empty seats. I just wanted to go back there and tell all those people, you know, you can't sit the fuck down and do this 10 people at a time. Because it's going to, this plane isn't going fucking anywhere. It's going to take forever to get our bags off because they weren't expecting to fucking take bags off a plane. So there's one motherfucker that's going to be taking bags off. And 
when you used to work uh, in the ring, what, what would happen if? I mean, if you're fucking main eventing a you were on pay per view or, you were or TV. On, no, you were on the you were on a six o'clock flight every every day. If you flew, you were on fucking at five thirty five. There were so many times we'd leave the bar in Boston and go sleep at the gate. Right. Because we weren't dropping fucking three bills, you know. To, to get three hours of sleep. We'd, and, and we'd sleep in front of the exit door. Not in 1994. That was your whole draw. Yeah, right. We, we'd sleep in front of the fucking, like, we, we, the, the gate door. So be, if they were going to let somebody on the plane, they'd have to open the door, and we'd be laying there. You'd have to wake us up. So we'd get <laughs> it's a, in the head with the door. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you guys want to get up? Fuck. <clears throat> that, that was the, the, the story back in the day when, when I first got, you know, I ran into Snook and, you know, you see Snook in the morning, it'd be dark out, but Snook would have his fucking shades on. He'd be like, man, what the fuck's with Snook, man? Why has he got shades on? Fuck, man, you leave the bar and that fucking sun's out. <laughs> it's like, fuck, them shades come <laughs> I mean, it's God fucking used to live in those fucking shades. It'd be like, <laughs> my phone would ring and be like, hey, man, we got to catch the shuttle. I'd be like, Before I even brush my teeth, okay. <laughs> like fuck, and then my eyebrows fell off. But uh, you and you and uh, Pac. Yeah. Um, so you didn't get to Lafayette last week. That's uh, it's no. a shame. So folks I out dis- there, I you'll dis- see Kev again, on the again. I, again, I disappoint. So this weekend's Kansas City. So I I I, I look at the temperatures in Kansas City. It's fucking. I mean, it's cold here today. You know, but it's not. Like bitter cold. Like I, I went to the gym with a fucking sleeveless shirt on. What's and, Kansas uh, City this week? Fucking, it's week. like it's like this weekend's like forty three and eighteen. It's like fuck. That's the yeah. coldest weather I'll have been in for like a year because mm-hmm. I didn't. I haven't left my. I, you know, I haven't left since September. So right. I've just been down. Yeah, you know, I've just been down here in Florida. It's just like holy. Fuck. You had some cold spells there this winter, though. Yeah, but it's ridiculous. I mean, it's like a day, right? You know, like not eighteens, right? I mean, you know, I, I watch the news. And I think I'm watching that fucking horrible end of day, end, end of time, or end of days, whatever that fucking Schwarzenegger movie was. With the fucking some, the snow and the floods and the. Floods over on this side and this and fucking, you know. Definitely, uh, Earth is definitely in a in a battle. Yeah, um, I, you know what though? I, for the people in the Northeast, I mean, it's, it's been a long time since a lot of those people got fucking twelve inches. Boom. We, we've been <laughs> snowless, if that's what you're, if that's the twelve no, inches. I'm you're talking, well, to. Whatever, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Feedback from last week. Those of you enjoy the show, like Fingers MC, love the show and love that it starts off my Monday mornings from England. But that misconception section was the best thing from any episode, in my opinion. Nice one, lads. All right, Fingers. Travis N. Singh. Has anybody. Uh huh? No, I was going to say, I, I thought it was very pompous of me to. Uh clarify any mis- any mis- misconceptions of, well that was my saying. idea to do that because no i just that was one of the fucking comments i, I read that it was oh uh, somebody said that you yeah, were pompous that, I, for yeah, doing I, an episode I, on I, yourself I, the I'm fucking show's called the kevin nash podcast and, and, then, and then if the person went on to say i was the worst drawing wwf champion wwe <laughs> which is not true um and that the other the other company i worked for uh, closed down and Eddie Guerrero had it right when they, they, he said that Kevin Nash is just pure evil. Like that I horror said, movie you did. Yeah, I, no, that, I just... That classic. That, that was, no, that was fucking Kane. Oh, well, yeah, I, I could have fucking... That's right. He played Diesel, so maybe, I, maybe it was me. Maybe it was, and maybe it was. 